Hey everyone, welcome back to Exo Productions. Today, I'm going to be talking about my personal iPod. Hey buddy, the naughty's called. They want their tech back. Sorry about that. Anyway, what is it like using one of these now? It's attention grabbing, that's what. Oh my god, is that an iPod? Yeah? That's so cool, I haven't seen one in years. Can I touch it? Ugh, get away from me, you weirdo. Besides the attention, I've been enjoying it quite a lot over the last month. Well, attention's not the only issue I've really had with it. Recently, my iPad had only been playing through one of my ears, which I had originally thought was my earbuds, but after some testing, I realized that my earbuds worked perfectly, and the issue actually lied with my iPod. I did some research and it turns out this generation of iPods seem to have that issue after quite a few years. Which, to be honest, this iPod is 18 years old, so I don't blame it. So the only way to really fix this issue would be to open up the iPod and replace the headphone jack. Which, I don't know when I'm going to be doing that, but I'll be doing it sometime soon, and I will be making a video on it to put on either this channel or on XVX. So, how do you get songs on this? Well, iTunes. But, if you're talking about downloading songs, that's a whole different thing. If you're talking about pretty mainstream artists, like Linkin Park for example, it's really easy to find their albums online for free. Oh hey, Britney Spears is in the Zone album is available for free from freemusicforyou.com! Oh jeez, which download button is it? Yeah, if you plan on doing that, watch out for those kinds of sites. When it comes to some small artists like Scratch21 and Ken Young, which I personally listen to, I tend to find their songs on Bandcamp and I purchase the songs because I like supporting smaller artists. And also, Spotify is not really the best place for small artists to get paid. Spotify only really benefits the big people. And yeah, I'm not lying when I say I traded Spotify for my iPod. I did, in fact, cancel my Spotify subscription and delete my Spotify account. Here's proof! So, one of the big upsides to having one of these instead of Spotify, which is actually one of the main reasons why I switched over, was I no longer have to worry about my phone's battery life. Even on my iPhone 11, Spotify would take up a lot of my battery percentages if I listened for a long period of time, which would suck if I wanted to use my phone for other things, which is why I think the idea of having everything be on one device isn't really the best idea. Yeah, sure, I have to worry about another battery to charge. Even if this battery is 18 years old, it still functions really well, and I can go several days on a single charge on this. And the click wheel? I don't worry too much about it since I already got pretty used to it, and I honestly have no issues with it. The only issue I do have is that the uh, the middle click button doesn't always work, but you have to put some pressure on it. Besides that, I got no issues. Overall, I feel I made a good choice when switching to this. Not only do I not have to worry about recurring payments, but I also get to support smaller artists better more than Spotify could, and I get that sweet mid-2000s feel of listening to music. And with that, thank you for watching.